we have all heard the suggestion, fail forward and fail fast. Typically, this is shared with new entrepreneurs who are in the throes of setting up a new business as a way to encourage them to move quickly, learn from their mistakes, improve what they're doing, and move on. The good news is that in most cases, this really works. If we move in the direction we want to go, correct our errors, and continue to innovate and improve, eventually, we will find some level of success. The issue with fail forward and fail fast is that at some point in your business, you need to stop. Here's what I mean. Before I get tons of emails and comments, understand that the last thing I would ever say is that we should stop innovating in our businesses or that we should stop making mistakes. Innovations are critical and mistakes lead to innovations if we treat them correctly. The point I'm making here is that once you have a process in your business that works to create a profit, it's time to unplug fail forward and fail fast and instead start refining that process and get as much as you possibly can out of it. I had a long conversation with my dentist the last time I saw him. I tend to have a lot of business conversations with the people I see. When he first started as a dentist, he was working in a practice where the challenges were overwhelming. The staff was upset most of the time, the dentists were unhappy, and they had a hard time with patient care. When he opened his own practice, he started experimenting and working towards creating the business he wanted to own, which is what he runs today. His dental practice is established, and as a patient, it's apparent that Dean Sakos at Westlake Cosmetic Dentistry here in Austin is a business where the processes have been refined, constantly improved, and are working incredibly well. He has unplugged Fail Forward and Failed Fast, and instead moved towards refining his unique process and providing the absolute highest value he can for his clients or patients. So here's a question we should all ask ourselves about our businesses. Do we have a process that's existing that can be refined and improved? If we do, it's time that we unplug Fail Forward and Fail Fast for that process and truly focus on creating a bulletproof system that can be repeated over and over to create a profit. Often we take on a new coaching client and this is what we're really helping them do in the first year. We simply do the following. One, help them identify the process that is creating a profit in their business. Two, we draw a tremendous amount of attention and focus to that process so it can be refined and improved and the outcome can be driven to the highest level possible and even become predictable. We create metrics and measurements around each step of the process often that their team will keep and report to them so that the stability and longevity of that process and the profit it produces can continue. So where are you in your business? Are you really in the fail forward, fail fast mode like so many people who are starting up either a new business or a new initiative within a business? Or is it time for you to examine your business and see if there really is a process there that can be refined? What is it that you do to create a customer, keep the customer, deliver what they paid for, get them to come back and buy again, and maybe even give you referrals? See, my hallucination is that many of you will find that it's either time to start refining or continue refining your process and truly create the highest level outcome you have in the business you run today. Let us know below, are you in the fail forward, fail fast mode, or... Are you going to start refining your process and driving greater results, customer satisfaction, and of course, profitability? I appreciate you coming by and watching our blog. We do this every week, and we'd love to have you as a subscriber. We give you the information you need to build a business around who you are so it will give to you indefinitely.